Okay, welcome back to our little town. Right now we are in the status of Tiny Town. We have a population of uh, 1305 and we have a few unique uh, buildings and things that have shown up. Uh, so let's uh, get ready to proceed next to the next phase which is called Boomtown. Before we do that I want to show you a few things that I want to improve here. So let's uh, zoom in on our city. The entrance to the city here has uh, these two roads that connect into this one and then that connects into this dirt road here. And it's working fine for now that if I run the simulation a bit and if I go up here and look at our uh, info views panel and there's a little traffic icon right here. I can see that I don't have bad traffic yet, but I will eventually run into some traffic issues because this is the very main entrance to the city. So uh, it's going to get crowded eventually. So in order to um, anticipate that, I'm going to make a few changes here. First of all, when I did build this uh, initially, I should have made this a uh, one lane road. Right now it's a uh, I mean one-way road. It's two lanes, two directions in here. If I click on the road icon uh, you can see that this is one way coming off the freeway and then this goes to two directions and there's really no point in having traffic going against the against the grain right in here. So let's fix that and make that a one-way road. And you, you do that by double-clicking on the, the one-way arrow and then get this icon to show up two lane one way road and then uh, in order to change this you use this tool here called the upgrade road tool and then just click on it and you see now it's uh, it's one way it's the wrong direction but we'll fix that so to fix that wrong direction you just right click on it and then it's coming off two lanes one way both of those things and that's a good thing now that's why I should have done it in the first place and uh, that is an improvement but let's make an even larger improvement planning for the future here and that is to make this into a roundabout type entrance. In order to do that I'm going to pause the uh, simulation here and grab this roundabout tool and figure out where I want to place it. I think I want to put it over in here. So the entrance that we have I'm going to take it away and then I'm going to grab this tool and I'm going to make it join right there there we go. I'm left clicking, right clicking the mouse trying to get things to move around a bit. Um, now this has got this uh, connection to that and so the traffic is going to have to go this direction but that's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and uh, blow away that road and then just make a one-way two-lane one-way road two-lane one-way road using the uh, freeform tool. Connect over in here and connect over in here. Now the traffic will come off in two lanes one direction there and get into the roundabout and then enter my city this way. And now since we're uh, we've got this now in pavement let's connect that on up to the two direction one lane uh, one lane road, two directions, and we'll connect right up to our, uh, oh, we have a windmill in the way. If you click on the windmill, or the turbine, you can relocate it like this. So you just drag it. Grab the tool again. Connect it straight up to our uh, industrial area. So now I have some paved roads entering the city and when I get the simulation going you can see the traffic will start using this and it will flow better especially later as the city gets big it's going to make a difference. Oh, I realize I haven't reconnected my uh, power so I've got to get that reconnected quickly. Get that over here. And we don't need these power lines here anymore. Oops, did not want to destroy that. That's a water tower. <laughs> okay. 
and that is powered because it's connected to all this blue. All right, so run the simulation again, and this power outage problems should go away quickly. Okay, they've all got power now. Now, uh, back to these roads, I want to um, upgrade these to pavement, which will make our citizens happy. What I wanted to show you is uh, what happens when it's gravel, if you do a ride along with one, especially uh, like behind a truck like this. Let's take this SUV and ride along. So you can see it makes a lot of dust. So it'll make these citizens happier when we upgrade these roads. So let's use the upgrade tool. I'm going to pause the simulation and use the upgrade tool and start upgrading some of these roads to um, pavement. We'll just do the main entrance road for now to the uh, residential area and see how the uh, little smiley faces coming up. They're saying, oh, I like that better. Okay, I can see now that I have some citizens complaining and uh, what they're complaining about, if you uh, click on the uh, building, it says crime rate is high. And uh, the reason for that is I have not yet put any police departments in. So as you can see, when you click on the police department icon, up here it says jail's availability is zero. That means I have no police station. So let's put one in right now. Let's put it in a location where it can go both to the residential and up to the industrial if needed. And then our citizens will be happier. Also, let's take a look at the fire department situation. When you click on the fire department icon, and I look at my uh, city here, I see there's a lot of red. And that means that uh, we're not covered with fire fire department. So let's grab a location here along the main entrance. Put it in there for the industrial zone. And it even covers a little bit of the uh, residential. Well, let's put another fire department over here. At this Maybe in the center area around here to cover the rest of the residential zone here. Now, over here you can see, if I back out, you see there's a um, icon there that looks kind of nasty. That is a burned out building. And so I waited a little too long to uh, put that fire department in. So I'm going to just blow away that building, clean things up here. The neighborhood's a little messy for a bit, but it will eventually, uh, the burn marks will go away and they'll build a new building there. Restart the simulation, you can see it starts to clean up already and the building's coming in. Now, uh, again, we have a high demand uh, for residential, so we better build some more roads. And I think I'm going to uh, keep using the gravel for a while. Let's just add on to our grid going out this way, this way. We'll angle that a little bit for the river, come across, come across here. And I think I will put uh, two in between. You can see the blue lines. I'm going fairly close, but leaving a little space in the middle here. If I ever want to put a walkway or something in there, I can. And this one, let's see how that goes. That one's not going to leave much space for anything in the middle, but we uh, will go out as far as we can. We're running out of money here again. You see that's 980, so I'm going to stop right about, uh, well, I'm going to stop right there. Hit the escape key, go ahead and zone this so we get some more residences, residences coming in. And uh, we'll zone this one, this one. Before it fills in, I'm going to extend this road just a bit before I run out of money. The, the funds went up a little bit because they are going up weekly by $1,000, so I just need to be patient here and let things fill in a bit. And as residences move in, they'll start paying taxes and our funds will go up. This is a pretty wide grid in here, so I plan to go out like this. But let me just not spend too much money yet, and but start the road so I can see that it's kind of reserving it for future 
I'm going to speed up the simulation a little and let some residences fill in since the demand is still high. Let's make sure we have water coverage. Come up here to our plumbing. Go across. You don't need to overlap by much. Again, that the uh, pipe is expensive, so I just used up most of my <laughs> funds for that little bit of pipe. See if I can connect this. Almost got it. I like to connect them at both ends, but when I'm running out of money, I may not do that. Okay, this city needs a little uh, time to catch up on our funding. Since we are um, advancing a bit, we're going to put in a water pumping station. Now, you see on the river here the arrows. As soon as I click on the uh, water button, the, the river shows up with the flow so that you know that you want to take the fresh water out of the upstream area and dump the wastewater in the downstream area. You see the pollution right in here that's coming out of this this uh, waste treatment. It's a sewage ejector is what it really is. It doesn't really treat it. Later on we'll be able to add some uh, high-tech treatment plants. So I just connected that water and as soon as I run the simulation that should perk up, turn blue, and water availability jumped way up now and sewage treatment is way up at the max. So that's all good. If we if we are having budget troubles because you see those uh, those capabilities are very high, the availability of water and the availability of sewage treatment, we could go into our budget panel over here under economy and we could reduce the uh, cost of that. It's costing eight hundred dollars a week. Okay, our city is growing. We're up to um, 2,293 population at this point, and we have $9,000 in the bank. So things are looking good. Our demand is uh, nice and low right now for things, so I don't need to worry about doing new zoning. We do have a building that's abandoned up here, which is this symbol. Oh, that's because I neglected to give these guys water. I didn't notice they were complaining. So let's get some piping over here. They should be happy shortly. The abandoned building is, uh, it will eventually go away and something will be rebuilt there or you can use the bulldozer tool and destroy it. And then something else will be rebuilt. I'm letting the city run on its own for a minute. I don't know if we've built any schools yet, so we'll take a look at the education. Oh yeah, we did put an elementary school there, but if you look at the uh, demand, there's uh, there needs to be another elementary school soon, so let's go ahead and do that now. I'll put it uh, opposite direction, opposite the other one somewhere, maybe up here in the middle. Okay, we just reached Boomtown. Now there are more things that we'll want to do in the next uh, tutorial and we'll advance on to the next level, which will be Busy Town. And in this particular map, that's a population requirement of 4,600. Uh, something I didn't mention is the, the population varies from one map to another as to how, how many you need to reach before you proceed to the next level. So anyway, we're at the Boomtown level now at the population of uh, 2,404. And in our next tutorial, we'll proceed to the next level.